California Senate Bill 9 officially went into effect at the beginning of 2022. It increases the number of dwellings you can have on single family lots. So what does SB 9 mean for your property and your neighborhood? We're gonna explain it in this video. I'm Caitlin and I founded Maxwell to help homeowners design and build second units in their backyards. For me, SB 9 represents a huge leap forward in the effort to build more accessible housing for people. This bill gives you the option to have three or even four dwellings on your property. The new laws are complex, so if you'd like more detailed info about SB 9 or want to know how you could add a dwelling to your property, just click the link below. SB 9 is meant to increase housing in single family residential zones. SB 9 expands the kind of housing you can build on a single family lot, and it does this with two provisions. First is the duplex provision, and second is the lot split provision. SB 9 duplex provision. With SB 9, most single family lots in urbanized areas can now have two dwellings, which is what the law calls a duplex. The second dwelling can either be attached to the primary house or detached. Wait, that sounds a lot like an ADU. There certainly are similarities. As with ADUs, the new duplex unit can be at least 800 square feet. ADUs can be as large as 1,200 square feet, but cities have to allow them to be at least 800. Parking exemptions are similar to those for ADUs. No parking space is required as long as the property is within half a mile of public transit. Otherwise, you'll need one parking space per unit. There is at least one big difference though. With an ADU, you're exempt from all development and impact fees if your unit is less than 750 square feet. A duplex built under SB9 does not get that exemption and diff fees can be as much as $10,000 or maybe even more. So that's a significant chunk of change. Can you have an SB9 duplex and an ADU? Yes. If you own a single family dwelling, you can build a second dwelling on that lot using SB9. And if you do not plan to split your lot, you can also have an ADU and a JADU. Wow, that's three homes on your lot. So now you've got that multifamily housing or some very nice rental income. Okay, let's talk about that SB9 lot split provision. Under SB9, you're also allowed to split your single family lot into two separate lots. On each lot, you can then construct up to two dwellings. They can be permitted as a duplex or as a house plus an ADU or JADU. But however they are permitted, you cannot put more than two dwellings on each split lot. So what if you already have a permitted ADU on a lot that then you later split? As current ADU law stands, you will not be able to sell it separately because an ADU can't be sold separate from the primary dwelling that it's attached to. So hopefully in the future, this will change. Let's talk a little bit more about lot splits in general. The minimum lot size after you split the lot has to be at least 1200 square feet. And the split can't be greater than 60, 40. So you can't have a very large lot and then a teeny tiny 1200 square foot lot. The lot must provide access to or adjoin a public right of way. Using SB9, you can only split a lot once and you can't split it and then split it again. Let's talk a little bit about lot split fears. Say lot split and some homeowners start panicking. What's gonna happen to my nice single family neighborhood? Honestly, probably not all that much. According to the Turner Center for Housing Innovation, very few lots are likely to actually be split because there are still too many unresolved issues, including how cities will regulate access to each lot, how banks will deal with mortgages on lots that have been split, who's gonna pay the new parcel mapping fees that SB9 requires. These issues and other loopholes will hopefully eventually be settled by individual jurisdictions or by the state in a revised version of SB9. But until they are, it's going to be the rare homeowner who tackles splitting a lot under SB9. Right now, the paperwork alone can take 18 months to two years. SB9's goal is to create housing, not drive out renters. We get why some people are alarmed by SB9. They worry that existing affordable housing and charming neighborhoods will be demolished so developers can you know, turn out cookie cutter duplexes. But people also worry that instead of creating more long-term housing, SB9 will bring in more short-term vacation rentals to their area. But SB9 has some powerful rules to avoid these outcomes. First, if you split the lot, you can't split another lot right next door to it and you can't partner with someone else to do it. If you split a lot, you must sign an affidavit promising to live in one of the duplexes for at least three years. Signing that affidavit makes it legally enforceable. If you sign and then you don't live on the property, you can be charged with perjury. 
The law also requires the owner of any of the units created using SB9 to sign an affidavit restricting rental terms to be for at least 30 days and up. So there's no short-term rentals allowed. So what can SB9 do for your property? We've got high hopes for SB9's future after the kinks are worked out. It's kind of like where we were in 2017 with ADU laws. It was a great start, but it had some problematic loopholes that certain jurisdictions were still exploiting. The state's ADU legislation, however, fixed most of those, and cities now have clear legal guidelines for building ADUs. As we see it, the easiest way to increase the units of housing on a single family lot right now in 2022 would be to build a duplex under SB9 and also add an ADU. If the wheels are spinning and you wanna brainstorm possibilities on your lot, we can certainly help you. You can get connected with someone on our team by clicking on the link below. And we can connect you with lenders, experienced designers and architects, and builders for your project. You'll also be able to track your project from start to finish on our online platform. Reach out for a free planning call by clicking the link below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.